hello you beautiful souls welcome back to my channel my name is michelle we suck all things life love spirituality love attraction and all of that juicy goodness we are just gonna dive right in we're gonna do two page pulls today from two of my favorite books you guys are very familiar with these books we have 365 ways to raise your frequency i got this at barnes and noble and then we have heart thoughts by louise hay which was gifted to me by my mom a couple years ago so I believe you can get this one on Amazon. I looked for this one on Amazon, couldn't find it. So go to the store and get that one. Let's start with heart thoughts. If you're new to my channel, welcome, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know where you're from. I love doing these page pulls and these originated from my teaching days. I used to be a health and fitness teacher. I taught high school for 17 years. And every morning I would sit at my desk. I would do my morning workout at like 3.30 in the morning. And then I come home and shower. And then I get to school around 6.30 and I would sit at my desk and I made my office super awesome with all the other, there was three other uh, health and PE teachers, lady teachers that were with me. And we had like a small room like this. And I had Christmas lights up all year round and like soft lighting. They would always let me decorate the space. So every morning when they would come in, especially in the winter time, it was so warm and fuzzy. And I would be at my computer maybe half an hour before they would all arrive. And I would have tons of books. I would have quotes. I would have different things that inspired me to start my day. And a lot of times the quote or the page that I would pull, I would use in my classroom with my students. And I would then bring them that same inspiration. So I was always being intuitive back then. This was before I even knew I had spiritual gifts and I could be a psychic medium and I could bring messages to all of you. I didn't know that back then, but I was unconsciously doing it. So now I'm doing it on my channel because I want to teach all of you that when you're looking to connect to the universe to get answers, the universe sometimes speaks to you through angel numbers, through animals and music, because it's like tangible. It's something that you can see. Well, when you bring a book into the mix, the universe can guide you to a certain page that has paragraphs upon paragraphs of messages using words to literally deliver what you need to hear and how to move you along your journey and how to keep reminding you to love yourself and that you are enough and you don't need to do more and you're out there scrounging for more and more and more and the universe all of a sudden brings you a page in a book that says you're doing enough. Like you need to chill out and relax and love yourself and see how far you've come. So that tends to be the theme for me is anytime I'm looking for a message, it's always you're enough, Michelle, you don't need to do more. So now I like to do it on my channel to bring you all that same message um, or just a new message that the universe is trying to get you to hear, but you've been missing it in your own reality. So it's my job to bring it to you. So let's pull a page. That's probably the best way I've ever described that. I'm really proud of myself, but that's how this started. I literally would look for messages from the universe and what better way than through cards and books where there are words. The universe can literally speak to you using words. <laughs> This is so funny. I rejoice in my employment. My job is to express God. This is like so like significant of what I'm here doing. This is my employment. And for you, pay attention. This message is for all of you. My job is to express God. I rejoice in this employment. I give thanks for every opportunity to demonstrate the power of divine intelligence to work through me. Anytime I am presented with a challenge, I know it is, it is an opportunity from God, my employer, and I quiet my intellect, turn within, and wait for words of treatment to fill my mind. I accept these blessed revelations with joy and know that I am worthy of my just reward for a job well done. Remember I was saying like you've done enough, you don't need to do more, like your job is great, you're already being who God wants you to be. Okay, it says, my fellow employees, all humankind, are supportive, loving, cheerful, enthusiastic, and powerful workers in the field of spiritual unfoldment, whether they choose to be aware of it or not. I see them as perfect expressions of the one mind, diligently applying themselves to their jobs, working for this unseen yet ever-present chief operating officer, the ultimate chairman of the board. I know that my creative, creative activity elicits financial abundance for the job of expressing God is ever rewarded. And so it is. 
It says there are people looking for exactly what you have to offer and you are being brought together on the checkerboard of life. So I'm going to let you guys screenshot, try to get it centered. If anyone wants to screenshot that. What an awesome message. <laughs> I have my one guy friend, Ben and I, we always say that God is our CEO. Well, he started it and then I kind of picked it up, but it's so true. God pays our bills. God provides for us. God, God brings us the right people. So when we can see one thing that I really, something that really clicked for me this year was seeing that every single person is an extension of God. So if it's almost like if your fingers are all, um, just extensions, right? They're just longer versions of the root of, of God and who the universe is. If we're all of these extensions, the universe is at the core, right? And imagine the universe wants to experience life through you, through your mouth, through your eyes, through your touch, through your scent. The universe is experiencing this experience through you. And when it's moving through you like a puppet, it's moving you to what's best for you. And it's saying, hey, like your vessel came with certain gifts and I want to move you to use them in this lifetime. So right now what I'm doing on YouTube is I'm being moved. I wasn't planning on filming today. I just woke up and something I was being, I was that extension. I was that puppet. Something said, get dressed, get dolled up, grab these two books. I wasn't planning on doing these. And I'm being moved. I'm being worked through, which is exactly what this says. Um, yeah, it says, um, I give thanks for every opportunity to demonstrate the power of divine intelligence to work through me. So you are all the divine intelligence. You are all just a longer extension of it. At the core of who you are is source. And it's wanting to move your vessel, move your mouth. It's wanting to move your eyes to certain people, to certain experiences so that you can express what is specifically in your vessel. Okay, so we have to learn to get out of our own way. And what normally blocks that is anxiety, fear, uh, maybe we experienced a trauma in the past and now we have fear in our body and we're like, I don't want to do this because then if people see me, they'll judge me, they'll hurt me like they did in my childhood. So rightfully so, we, we hold back and we don't follow our so-called employment with God because we're scared. And my mission is to help all of you become aware of what is your blockage? What is holding you back? What is that little bit of fear and anxiety of that's keeping you from sharing your beautiful gifts. You know, I used to, I used to be scared because I was a teacher and now I'm doing cards and I'm a psychic medium. So are all of my students in that whole area of my life, all of my teacher friends, are they all going to think I'm some sort of witch because they're unaware of the spiritual path? Um, I know that's not true because I love what I do and I know it's pure and it's of the light, but what do they think? So I had to move beyond their judgment and their own fears of what I was doing. They're fearing that I'm going to tell them something about themselves that they don't want to know. And that's not how it works, but their fears were affecting me and how I was showing up. And I didn't start YouTube for a couple of years because I was a teacher. And I thought that the two lives couldn't mix. You know, if I was seen on YouTube pulling cards, what would my principal say? So I didn't do it. I waited until I quit teaching and then felt free to do it. And I don't know, maybe I could have done both. If I worked through the fear, I don't know, but it wasn't the way it worked. I ended up quitting my teaching job and I started doing this and started working one-on-one -on -one with clients. And I now rejoice in my employment because I'm happy doing what source wanted me to do all along. Source wanted to move me to be sharing these messages. It moved me to quit my job so then I can teach others how to do it. So you're being guided right now to get out of your own way and follow the lightest feeling in your body. Follow your joy. What makes you feel good? Who makes you feel good? Be around those people, do those things. Um, I just recently, before I pull the next page, I just recently had a client She's been working um, as a groundswoman. She's amazing. She's always doing such amazing work. 
um, at the grounds of where she works. She was, wants to make things really, really beautiful for her community. And she recently was asked to grab a bunch of tree stumps for this beautiful wedding photo. And she had candles all over the tree stumps and she shaped them all and did everything. And it was like this new creative side of her. Well, for years, she's been trying to figure out what her passion is. And she, it, it just hadn't clicked into place yet. She didn't have a fear of anything. She just was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I love working in nature and working with nature, but she's like, I don't know how to help people with that. And here the universe, now she's ready because she's done enough healing and she's a cancer survivor and she's doing amazing. And now she is ready to serve. So somebody came to her and said, hey, could you do this for my wedding? And she said the feeling that she felt being of service, making that wedding photo and that whole scene so beautiful for that bride and that groom, she said it just lit her up. And that was source moving through her. Source was saying, hey, you have this special gift of taking nature and manipulating it and moving it and making it really, really beautiful for these people to have these experiences. And she didn't know that about herself. She was doing it all along, but she wasn't brought the opportunity to express it. She wasn't brought the employment. So if this is you and you're sitting there going, I don't know what my passion is, just like me. I was a teacher wanting to leave teaching, but I didn't know what to do yet. It will come through you one day. It will just happen. An offer will arrive from somebody else. And it's the universe luring you into your highest, fullest expression. Okay, great message there. Let's get a second page. This is 365 ways to raise your vibe. Okay, <laughs> 113, this is funny. Wear a fun hat, outfit, socks, or underwear. <laughs> when you wear the same types of clothing every day, it can become routine and boring. You may be required to wear a uniform or suit for your job, but every once in a while, you can kickstart your energy by adding color and fun items to your wardrobe. Sometimes raising your vibration, your vibration can be as simple as wearing a vibrant piece of clothing or an accessory that brightens your mood, makes you feel adventurous, or is simply a secret that no one else can see. By adding this element of fun, you're elevating your energy and bringing happiness to yourself. Choose colors that are vivacious and energetic in various shades like yellow, green, red, or purple, or multicolored patterns that are engaging and entertaining. You may decide to wear a big floppy hat, a cowboy hat, a baseball cap, or any other headgear that you normally wouldn't wear. Maybe your outfit is a little bit more flamboyant than your normal attire, or your socks light up or glow in the dark. And no one has to know about that sexy underwear unless you want them to know. By purposefully livening up your attire, you're filling your energy with lightness and fun. The bright colors will attract a faster vibration to match the vibration of the colors, which in turn causes your own frequency to increase. Jazz up your wardrobe to add an element of fun and excitement. I am a huge believer in this. I'll hold this up if anyone wants a screenshot. I am a huge, huge believer in this. I love, I always call it dolling up. I love getting dressed for my videos. I never know what I'm going to wear. I go through my closet and I'm like, what do I feel like today? Sometimes I'll be sweaty from the gym and just put my hair up in fun buns, two braids, pigtails. It is an energy. It's a vibration. It's your frequency. And when you are expressing and source is expressing itself through you, it's wanting you to be your fullest expression. It's wanting you to be who you are. So if you have a desire to wear something, don't think about what other people are going to think. You wear it because it's going to give you an energy. And when you walk out in public, people are going to feel that. They're going to be like, wow, that person's like unapologetically themselves. They're wearing whatever they want to wear and they're not caring. That makes me feel like I have permission to wear what I want to wear. And I have to say this, that... If you're going through grief, anxiety, and depression, one of the greatest tips I just gave this on a client call the other day was to get your butt up, get showered, do your hair, put some cologne or perfume on. And even just if you're not going to leave the house and you're in that depressed state, just feel good in your body by wearing something and, and looking really good from your own perception. This will generate a certain frequency within you that within five minutes, you might find yourself being 100% more productive in your home. You might feel invigorated to make a post on social media. You might feel 
invigorated to do the laundry or to do the dishes or to redecorate a certain nook in your house. Getting dressed and feeling good shifts your frequency. You're turning the dial on that radio station and all of a sudden you were just on a sad and gloomy song and now you're listening to like Whitney Houston um, singing, I want to dance with somebody. (laughs) So it's a quick little shift of a dial. You dressing your physical form and looking good and feeling good in it changes the game. Okay. So when you're looking to call in more desires, you're looking to live a happier life, dress yourself up, take pride in yourself and just see how it changes your dial. See how it shifts, how you feel about yourself. And if you're actually looking for employment in your life, and you're looking for how you can be of service, each day I need you to change that dial. I need you to be on a good feeling radio station because when you feel good, doors are opening energetically. And when doors are opening energetically, you're getting opportunities, you're getting offers. People are saying, hey, come here. And you're like, I'm already dressed. I feel good. Let me say yes. And let me be a yes guy or a yes girl. This is a game changer because now energy is moving you're moving and energy's moving, which then is dropping a pebble on the pond and then everything comes back to you. So this is a key, key point when manifesting is we want to feel good in our vessel and raise our vibe, which is why I bought this book. I should probably write a book like this one day, huh? (laughs) All right, lovies, if you need help on your journey, book a session with me. Everything's in the description box below. I have a couple courses available. They're so amazing. I have how to understand energy and how to cleanse your energy, which helps you keep your vessel feeling light and airy so that you want to get dressed up throughout the day. I have another course about how to become an intuitive reader, how to connect with your intuition and your guides and angels to deliver messages, if that's what you feel called to do. And my third course is in the mix right now. It is a meditation mindfulness course, a 30-day interactive program with journal prompts, inspirational quotes, me teaching with you for 10 minutes every single day. And then we go into a guided meditation for about 15 minutes. And it's just like 30 minutes of goodness that you need to keep you in alignment. And each day there's a different topic and a different lesson. That course is going to be up soon. So stay tuned for that. I created that back in 2020. I'm just now uploading all the videos to my site and it's it's a little bit of a process. So it's coming soon. So get excited. This course will really transform your life. And it was intentionally made for teens and 20 somethings, but it's good and it's for everybody. It's actually for parents, for kids, for coaches, for athletes, anybody that wants to become the master of their mind. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me and my channel. I'm sending you so much love. Let's get out there and raise our frequency. All right, loveys, peace out.